I've been off the radar for the past few weeks and I mean really off the radar because I was not on my social media for literally a little over two weeks. Um, I didn't post on Instagram, I didn't tweet anything, I didn't post anything on Facebook, I didn't drop a YouTube video, I didn't even scroll through any of my social media because I wanted to take some time to gain clarity. Um, uh, I don't know, there's like a few different directions I want to go with this, so the top of the year I really um, kicked off 2018 really good, you know, really at peace and really happy and you know, when things are going really good, you can just expect something to throw you off something or some things to throw you off and that's exactly what happened to me um, and I I knew that it was just part of my process and I knew it was a test and I knew it was just a sign that I needed to make um, some adjustments I needed to get some clarity on myself some clarity on people some clarity on situations and I needed to do that with a clear mind and I even took it as far as um, not even tweeting anything because I never want to post or speak from a place of emotion and I wanted to have the right mindset and I felt that that two weeks um, just to soak everything in and with everything going on I just knew I wasn't at a place where I would really be speaking from a clear mindset and a clear heart and I didn't want to do that and it, it made me realize more about social media and it made me realize like why is that such a big deal to not post on social media and you know what the reason I decided to come back on today was because uh, it was a few reasons I had somebody tell me a few days ago how how my word I don't realize how much my words help people and how much my presence does and then that was confirmed when I got a DM from a fan that said um, hi Jen I just wanted to know when's your next IG or YouTube video because um, I miss your presence because it's always inspiring so I just knew all right get off of your two-week hiatus or whatever and get back on social media get back um, into doing things and make a difference but anyway back to what it made me realize about social media it was when I was taking that time off of it it made me realize how much people are spending on it whether you are out with somebody or spending time with somebody in a meeting or at work we're constantly scrolling through our phones to just see what's on social media we want to post because we love the likes and the followers and the comments and it gives us some kind of um, validation and it, it it it's good but then it also causes problems because then people make assumptions off of social media and it just it made me kind of hate it um and i really it felt good to not be on it, it felt good to not tell everything that was going on but I'm really going to approach social media in such a different way now where it's really just if I'm going to go on it to scroll through it I'm gonna make sure it's um, it's positive and it's uplifting me and if I'm going to post something I have to make sure that it's going to be positive and inspiring in some way and I just I don't know I just I wish social media wasn't such a big thing but it is and it made me realize that but um yeah, I just needed clarity, a clear mindset, and a clear heart. Um, took some time off, really got to get my focus back um, and determine a lot of things. So for anyone who's watching this, I guess the biggest points I want to take, want you to take away is one, if life is going good, life is going great, and you're at peace, and you're happy, and then something comes to knock you down, um, don't get discouraged of course we're not robots so like go ahead and be discouraged cry do whatever you need to do for a couple days a week whatever that is but get back up because the only reason that happened is because you are onto something good and something needed to knock you down to throw you off because the devil wants you to be discouraged that's really what it is and that's why it, it um it wasn't unexpected when all these things just kept happening back to back with me. And then social media, try not to be on it so much. Try not to be so obsessed with it. Stop trying to be so consumed in everybody's life. Be consumed in your life 
and figure out what you need to do and focus on yourself. I feel like if you really thought about how much you spent scrolling through your timelines, you probably focus more on other people throughout the day because you're distracted with it than you do with yourself. And that's what I'm going to do. So social media is all different. Um, and yeah, I'm back, I guess. So I just, uh, I hope you guys took something away from that. I kind of, it's like hard for me to focus right now because when I was getting ready, I burned my shoulder on my um, my three barrel curl. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys got something from this. Um, I have a bunch of pre-recorded videos I'm going to drop now um, and in the future. So I just, I want to make a difference. I want my presence to be something that you guys enjoy because it is uplifting you. So if you enjoyed the video, took something away from it, comment below and I will see you guys soon.